Hey everybody, today is Monday, February 26th, 2024, and we are here in the town of West Wyoming, Pennsylvania. Most people would probably say we are in Redding, Pennsylvania. If you were to ask them, we are right outside of Redding, Pennsylvania, technically in West Wyoming, Pennsylvania. And the reason why we are here today on this rather beautiful day, it's in the high 40s, the birds are chirping, the sun is out, the skies are blue. Really fantastic day. And the reason why we are out here is to take a look at something really interesting that sits right on the end of this street. Found out about this a couple of uh, months ago and put it down, jotted it down in my little notes of places I wanted to visit. Knew someday we'd have to get out here and check this out. We are on Moorwood Avenue. This is the corner of Reading Avenue and Moorwood Avenue. And if you walk right down to the very end of Moorwood, there is something really, really interesting down here that again, I knew I had to document, had to see with my own eyes, had to show you guys what is down here because this is just really bizarre. It's interesting, it's unique. And I love the bizarre, the interesting and the unique. Also don't mind the fact that I sound all stuffed up. I do have a cold at the moment. Probably, I mean, even though it's in the high 40s, it feels pretty good out here. I probably should not be out in this weather with this cold. So this here is the intersection of Moorwood and is that poor Portland? Portland Avenue and Moorwood Avenue. So right here is the intersection you wanna look for because right down here is what we are here to see, sitting right beside some train tracks at the end of the street is just something really, again, bizarre, interesting, unique. Why is this here? Nobody really knows why this is here, but take a look at this, a statue of President Roosevelt, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, FDR, right there. Look at that. And hold on, wait a minute, check this out, bonus. bonus train coming by as well that is that is awesome you guys know i love my trains that is a cool bonus we do you know we are this does we are right by the the train tracks right now but look at this a statue of president franklin delano roosevelt right here at the end of the street you can see at one point it was painted sort of a, a pinkish flesh tone, if you will. I was told that at one point this whole thing was, was painted, but over the years, obviously, it has completely weathered away. But you can see that at one point, you can see a little bit of the, the kind of pink flesh tone on his face. This was actually painted. So nobody really knows why this is here. They don't know what the purpose for this being built was. It's sort of a, a mystery as to why, why this was built in the first place, which makes it really interesting because, again, nobody really knows why why it was done. Did the creators just really like FDR? Were they were they big fans of the, of the president? Did they want to do something just interesting to commemorate him? Was it for war efforts? Like, who, who knows what the reason why this was built? But it was built, and that's what is interesting. And the fact that it still stands here at the end of the street is pretty awesome. And the fact that there's this amazing train coming by right behind it just makes it all the more cooler. So this was supposedly built in the 1930s, 1940s. I'm not entirely sure on the exact date as to when this was built, but it did used to at one point sit beside a bridge, a metal bridge that actually spanned the tracks. At one point, this road came up to a bridge that then went over the train tracks and connected this road to the road on the other side. That bridge has been long gone. It was torn down a long time ago. I don't actually see any remains of the bridge anywhere. And I'm not sure when exactly that bridge was torn down, but it must've been a while ago because this uh, tree or what's left of the tree that was growing behind the statue, looks like it was a pretty big, big tree that was here for 
for a while. That tree was growing for a good, a good long while. So I'm assuming the bridge was torn down a long time ago, but pretty awesome that even though the bridge, for whatever reason, may have been taken down, the statue was not taken down. So at some point the town went, okay, maybe the bridge has just gotten old, it's dilapidated, we, we don't wanna replace it, we don't wanna fix it. Or maybe they just said, for whatever reason, we don't want the bridge anymore. Maybe we don't need it. Maybe we have other bridges. Maybe the trains are expanding. And because of that, we need to take the bridge down. For whatever reason, the bridge was, was taken down. And when that happened, they, they, did take, they, they, they took the bridge down, but they did, not take, they did not take the statue down. And that is really, really awesome. They may have no longer needed the bridge, but they did feel they needed the, the statue. And I don't blame them. This thing is too, too cool. So again, we do not know the actual date that this was placed here, but the good news is we do know who built it. It says donated and built by A. Ger Gerlach and J. Kleiner, if I'm saying those names correctly. They are the ones who built this amazing tribute to Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Again, why they built it, we have no idea when exactly they built it. Again, we have no idea, but they did build it. And it still stands here to this day, all these years later. I'm thinking at this point, probably maybe close to nearly 100 years later, this statue still stands here as a tribute to Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I love it. I like the fact that the town kept this. They did not tear this down. They kept it here for generations to see, for just people like me who love the weird and the bizarre to come out and see. So cool. This still stands. The detail on this statue is actually really, really awesome. It's a pretty good likeness of FDR. I like the fact that the, the sides here have roses or some kind of flowers on them as well. You have the star here. There's pieces of metal sticking out of the concrete. Not entirely sure if maybe at one point there was something on the, the statue. Maybe at some point there was some kind of, I don't know, decorative pieces here that have been taken off or, or fallen off over the years. Maybe that was just for strengthening purposes. I have no idea why there's metal there, but there's no metal anywhere else. So I'm thinking at one point, there was probably something decorative here and right there on the sides of the, the star. Of course, it says President Franklin, well, President F.D. Roosevelt, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. There's some more flowers here as well and over there. And then of course, the amazing fireplace with the, the branches here on the sides. Yeah, this is just really, really well done. A lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of care put into this. Oh, I'm just now noticing, there's like these little dragon heads down here. Look at that. I didn't notice those before. Those are neat. I think they're actually on all four sides. They are, even the back has the little dragon heads. So much time, so much effort put into this. The whole base is made of the stone and then the bust of FDR sits there on top, looking down, looking down the road. It's actually a pretty awesome view. I mean, honestly, that is not a bad view to have for your, for your entire existence, just staring, staring down this road. I'm sure you've seen this area get built up. All these houses, probably houses have come and gone. A bridge has come and gone. Many, many, many trains have come and gone behind this statue. But I mean, if I was a statue, I'm thinking this would not be a bad place to, to reside. Not a bad, not a bad view. And listening to all the trains pass by would also be pretty cool. I know it's an inanimate object. It doesn't, it doesn't care about the view. It doesn't care about the train, but I like to put like life into things like this. I see things like this and I think, you know what? In a weird way, this does have a, have a life. In my opinion, it's a pretty cool life. It's an awesome statue. Gets to, to have people come out and see it and wonder why it's here, what it's about, wonder about the mystery of the, the FDR statue. And on top of that, it's got a pretty cool view. I know, I'm weird.
I was just reading up a little bit more about the, uh, the statue and I'm getting kind of conflicting stories here. So one story I read said there was just a metal bridge, which I assumed was a, a metal bridge for, for cars because he did say something about connecting this road to that road. So again, in the first article I read, I, I assumed they were talking about a, a metal bridge to, to drive cars over, to walk over, just to connect this road to that road, vehicles getting from this road to, to that road. But in another article I just read, it said it was a metal pedestrian crossway. So maybe at one point, this did not sit in front of a, a bridge for cars, but it sat in front of a bridge for pedestrians, which I guess would kind of make more sense because again, I'm not really seeing any remains of a large metal bridge that cars would drive over. Also again, that tree looks like it's been growing there for, for a while now. They also would have had to have moved this at one point if it was a, a bridge for cars because obviously cars were not you know, driving, driving around this. So maybe at one point, I guess possibly, this, this was always a, a dead end. This road always came to a dead end, but then pedestrians could walk across a metal bridge, a pedestrian bridge. That seems to be, make, make more sense to me. I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that story. I don't know. Again, the bridge is, is gone. Who knows? If you know, leave a comment down below, but I'm gonna go with the story of the pedestrian bridge that at one point used to span the tracks. That just seems to make more sense to me because again, they would have had to have moved the statue and it would have had to have been gone for a really long time because of that giant tree that was growing up behind the statue at one point. And if you look right over, kind of right there, you can see there's a piece of concrete that could very well be maybe the base of the old pedestrian crossing, possibly. I don't see a, a base here. I don't think it would be right. It'd be right about there. I'm not seeing anything. So again, I'm not entirely sure. You know, leave comments down below, but I'm gonna go with the story of the, um, the pedestrian crossway, the pedestrian metal bridge not so much a, um, a bridge that was meant for, for driving over. That seems to make more sense. But again, at one point, you could walk up this road, wanting to get across the tracks. You would walk past Franklin Delano Roosevelt, continue walking across the, the bridge over to the other side, the other side of the tracks. That's awesome. Again, why is this here? Who knows? Why was this made? Who knows? But it was made, and it is here, and it's awesome. A tribute to President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I don't know what else to say, but I just, again, I love, love this thing. It is weird. It is bizarre. It's so cool that it just sits here at the end of the street. Every time I come out to a place like this, something that just sits on the end of a street, something that's just randomly in the middle of a, a neighborhood, something that there's just houses kind of surrounding, I always wonder what the people who live here think of this. Do they not think anything? Do they just kind of take it for, for granted? Do they just not even really realize it's here? Is it kind of just like, oh, oh yeah, there's that, that statue. They don't even think about it or look at it anymore. There was actually a lady right, right down there, right where I'm parked, when I got here, who was out front, she was like cleaning her trash cans and she sort of waved at me and kind of gave me this weird look like, what are, what are you doing? Why is, you, why is your camera out? What are, you, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I'm just here to see the, the FDR statue. And she goes, the what? And I'm like, the Franklin Delano, Delano Roosevelt statue. And she's like, huh? I'm like, the, the statue at the end of the road. She goes, oh, that thing. So clearly, at least some people here in the area just kind of, sort of forget this is here. They don't really pay much attention to this. And I guess if you did live here and this wasn't something you were into, if you weren't into the weird and the bizarre and just strange things like this, you probably would just sort of forget about it. You would, you would just be like, oh yeah, there's that, there's that weird statue. Maybe I saw one time when I, when I walked down here or I don't know, you, you walk out of your house and you probably don't even notice it's here. You don't think much about it. You haven't really done any research on it. Just why, why is it here? Who cares? Who knows? I suppose that's the case, but I always wonder what people think who live here, what, what they think of things like this. I would, I would be fascinated ever since I was a little kid. If I had something like this outside of my house, like if, it, if this was sitting outside of my childhood home, 
I would have been so fascinated by it. Ever since I was a little kid, I've been into stuff like this. I've been into the weird and the bizarre. I see stuff like this and I've always wanted to know more. As a kid, I would see an old house, an old building, an old statue, an old bridge, an old whatever, and think to myself, what's the story behind that? What, when was that built? Like who, who used that? Who, who made this? Why was it made? Why, why is it here? I would always wonder that sort of thing. That kind of just stuff fascinated me as a child. It makes me wonder if like this guy here, this person over here, if they even care that this is here. Maybe they do. Maybe they love this. Maybe they, they help maintain this. Maybe they, they make sure nobody comes out here and damages this. And maybe they make sure it's, uh, it's here to stay for, for generations to see. Or maybe they're like a lady down the street. And they just, they just completely forgot about it. They have no idea what you're talking about it. You have to thoroughly explain what it is you're here to, here to see for them to go, oh yeah, that, that thing. I'm kind of torn if I, if I want to see somebody come out here and repaint this. It, it would be pretty cool to see, to see FDR painted, to see the, the flesh tones brought back to his face. I'm sure the, like the kind of maybe like slate, gray blue of his, his jacket. It makes me wonder what this, what the colors on this were at one point. I could see this being quite brightly painted, probably looking pretty awesome, but at the same time, it's like, it, it doesn't need to be painted. You can see it's kind of like flaking here. Not sure what that's, that's about, but I don't know, kind of torn as to whether or not it would be neat for this to be repainted, kind of re-restored, or just, just keep it the way it is. I'm kind of thinking just keep it the way it is. As much as I would love to see maybe photos of what it used to look like when it was painted, I'm thinking I will just stick with photos. If there are photos, I haven't, I haven't seen, all the photos I've seen look like, look like this. I haven't seen any photos of it, uh, of it painted. I'm gonna have to see if I can find any of those. So I'm kind of torn. Would it be cool to have this repainted or not? I'm guessing not. Just keep it the way it is. Keep it weathered like this. But I am gonna have to look up some pictures because I do wanna know what did it look like when it was painted? Again, was there something here? There had to have been something, something there at one point. What that is, I do not know. Also, why is the star upside down? Is that something presidential, military? Does it represent something? Freemasons? I think the Freemasons use, use an upside down star. Don't, or do they use a right side up star? Comments down below. The, uh, the upside down star. What is that about? If you know, or maybe it's just decorative. Maybe they just said upside down looks better. I don't, I don't know. If that means anything, you guys can leave, leave a comment. You can see there's maybe like there was paint or something in the... Um, in the warning as well. You can see there's something in there. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's paint or, or what, but at some, at some point there was also something in the lettering as well. It looks like maybe some kind of like metal. Maybe there's like some kind of like brass or something kind of put into the, the lettering to make it stand out more. So clearly at one point this was, this was a bit more elaborate. Again, there was paint. There's probably something on the side of, sides of the stars, probably something within the lettering as well. You can see that over time the, uh, the fireplace is chipped a bit. It's been cracked down here. Something has probably, probably hit this. Probably snow plows or something have have hit this. So it's it's seen some some age. It's definitely weathered. It's definitely been through a lot over the uh, again nearly 100 years that this has probably been here. But I guess just keep it the way it is. Keep it weathered. Keep it looking as it is. Or maybe restore it. I don't know. Either way, though, it's cool that it's still here. As long as it still remains, as long as it doesn't get vandalized, as long as FDR is still perched on top of the, uh, the fireplace, looking down at that amazing view, I guess that's really all that matters. All right, guys, but I think that's just about going to do it for the amazing roadside oddity here in West Wyoming, the mystery Franklin Delano Roosevelt statue, the statue of President F. D. Roosevelt placed on top of a fireplace, looking down at that amazing view. Again, why it's here, who knows? Built in the 1930s, 1940s, sat in front of a bridge. At one point, used to cross over the tracks, probably most likely a pedestrian bridge that at one point used to cross over the tracks. So pedestrians going from here, doing their, going to there, doing their shopping, doing whatever they were doing, going to see friends, going to see family. They would pass this every 
single day. That is awesome. And built by A. Gerlach and J. Kleiner. Donated, built. Unfortunately, no date put on here anywhere. Would have been nice had it said, you know, 1935 right there. But unfortunately, it does not. So the, the actual date is a mystery. Why it was built in the first place is a mystery. But who cares? Let the mystery remain. We don't need to, need to know why this was built. We don't need to know why these two men wanted to build this. They did build it. And that's what matters. And it's still here to this day for people to come out and see and take a look at. For those who love the weird and the bizarre, it is here. A definite weird roadside oddity outside of Reading, Pennsylvania in West Wyoming, Pennsylvania. This is too cool. But all right, guys, that's going to do it. So if you've ever been out here to see the statue of FDR, leave your comments down below. If you have any more information on the statue, leave your comments down below. Maybe you've heard of the exact year. Maybe you know about the bridge that at one point was behind this. By all means, leave your comments down below. Love hearing from you guys, especially when you have maybe more information on something we're taking a look at. So leave those comments down below. But all right, guys, that's going to do it. So as always, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest up t-shirts proceeds both from the spreadsheet and from patreon do help support the show and they do keep the show going so i really do appreciate the support and if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end hashtag hashtag presidential view because look at that hashtag presidential view if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end but all right guys that's gonna do it so like i said thanks for watching hit that like button hit that subscribe button and if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. All right, so from, from Franklin, Delano, Roosevelt, and myself, <laughs> see you guys in the next video. Bye. So you know that old famous saying, you learn something new every day? It's a true saying. You do learn something new every day. I learn something new every day. And today, I just learned that for the past 41 years of my life, I have been pronouncing the name of our 32nd president, incorrectly. It's not Franklin Delano Roosevelt, as I've been saying the entire time in this video. And again, for the past 41 years of my life, it's Franklin Delano Roosevelt. There is no R at the end of his middle name. Why I thought there was, I don't know. I guess I just thought that's what people were saying all these years. And I had never actually seen the full spelling of his name anywhere before, or just never paid attention to the full spelling of his name anywhere before. Delano, not, not Delanor. Yeah. Again, you learn something new every day. My bad.